Okay, good afternoon. Um, this recording is to help teach you how to write an epic Facebook post for massive engagement and to stop hearing the crickets. Um, I was creating this for my clients in my group program and I thought I'd just hop on and share it with you all um, because I know that this can help you get clients. Um, this is how I built my business before I can. I was able to get my ads to work. Um, it took me a little while um, to figure out my Facebook ads and and how to make them successful. So I relied on the hustle to book clients um, utilizing Facebook groups. Um, it is not a long term strategy. I do not recommend it as a long-term strategy. Um, it will burn you out as a long-term strategy, been there. Um, so you definitely wanna get automation and a sustainable marketing funnel into your business. But if you're not there yet, I highly recommend this. So let's get started. Um, how do you write an epic Facebook post for more engagement? Well, here's a checklist. You want an eye-catching picture. You want a head-turning title. You want to follow the rule of threes, which I'll explain a little later on. You want to provide massive value. You want to agitate your ideal client's pain. You want to paint the picture of the pleasure that they're looking for. You want to pitch. Don't forget that, ladies. You want to definitely pitch. And you also want to use all caps when you want something to stand out. Use bullet points to spread out your content. You don't want it to be like clumped up in like one big paragraph. No one's going to want to read that. And you want to use your results benefit statements. Um, this is something I teach my clients on how to create language around what their ideal clients want. So when I want killer engagement, I make my Facebook posts like mini blogs slash sales pages. I hit on the pain points as well as the pleasure of my ideal clients. I paint a picture of what's possible because as coaches consultants that's what we're selling right possibility transformation so you want to paint the picture of that and then I add a call to action which is your pitch so your title this should be the value proposition of the entire post what are the people getting out of it so here are some things that I like to use I like to use a number with an adjective plus words like get ready get excited master plus words like make, let go, become, plus the transformation that you're selling, so that, which, plus the result benefit. So here's an example. Three epic ways to master booking 20 discovery calls a month so that you are booked solid and profitable, right? Um, if you're a struggling coach or consultant that can't book a discovery call that's going to catch your eye and that's my ideal client it's that coach consultant that is struggling to book clients and and just can't get a discovery call so if that's you you're gonna be like wow three ways to do that awesome let me keep reading or you want to call out your ideal client and mention the benefit and or pleasure that they're looking for so you can ask a question like are you an online coach that can't book discovery calls who is dreaming of a booked out practice, if that's you, you're probably gonna keep reading, okay? And then you wanna add the body. So the body, you wanna always list out the pains and benefits in threes. There's something about this flow that is very enthralling. Um, I kinda do it naturally. I don't remember where I learned this, um, but it's something that I've done naturally. Um, you wanna list out and use bullet points. You don't wanna make a clump paragraph. So. You want to use three sentences to describe what your ideal client wishes they had or use three sentences to paint a picture of their dream experience. So here are my three examples. Are you frustrated that you still haven't made any money in your business? Are you staying up at night wondering how you're going to pay back all your investments because you don't know where your next client is coming from? Are you stressed out because your dream business feels like it's so far off and will never happen? So I know these are some of the things that my people struggle with. Then you wanna add your story to this so that you connect with them. Because remember, story sells. So I have a little story here. If that's you, I totally get it. That was me when I started my business four years ago. And even as an online marketing expert, going from working with million dollar budgets to solopreneur budgets, it was a major shock 
I needed to learn how to bring in qualified leads into my business consistently so that I can predict the profitability of my business each and every month. And then I add some value. Here are three steps I took to book 20 or more discovery calls each and every month, and it's working like a charm. One step is implement a marketing funnel with Facebook ads to a lead magnet. Two is identify 30 people in your circle of friends that you can, that can use your service and invite them for a conversation on how you can help solve their problem. So if you invite 30, you know, a percentage of them should get on the phone with you. So maybe you can book 10, 15, 20 calls if you reach out to 30 people. Um, as you work your business, you'll learn your numbers. Um, so obviously this is all a guess. Number three is build relationships in Facebook groups with your ideal client and then pitch after you've built enough know, like, and trust. Because someone's not going to get on the phone with you if they don't know, like, and trust you. And if you just, and I see this all the time, people do like drive-bys where they'll go into a group, post a post, pitch, and then they wonder why nobody signed up. They don't know you. They don't like you. They don't trust you. You know, it's nothing that, oh, you might hear the baby in the background. Sorry about that. Um, it's nothing that you've, um, it's nothing about you. It's just, they don't know you. They don't like you. They don't trust you. So you have to build that by providing value, by showing your face, by uh, building up other people in the group so that when it is time for you to pitch something, they're going to read it. So you can use the same, um, format for value posts without pitching, um, to help people that are in, in, in these groups, um, so that you can prime them to then click when it is time for you to pitch or sell something. Um, so continue on with my value. These three steps alone have allowed me to build a six figure business. You can start implementing these steps today and be on the road toward profitability. What's stopping you? So now you call them out. Here's when you want to call out three specific characteristics of your ideal client, right? Cause you want the right people booking a call with you. So you're afraid because you're a brand new coach and you have no email list, no tribe, no online community. The term marketing funnel gives you anxiety and makes you want to crawl under your blanket. You have no idea how to clearly and concisely communicate. Oh, community. I need to change that. Communicate your message to the world and crickets is all you get when you try. And then you introduce yourself and you pitch. Um, if they don't know you, you definitely want to introduce yourself and show off like, why do they want to get to know you? If you're new to the group or your tribe doesn't know who you are, I recommend introducing yourself before you begin to pitch. So, hi, I'm Angelica Rosewitz and I specialize in building online coaching consulting businesses for Christian women entrepreneurs. I make online marketing easy and build your online business a joy all the while keeping the Lord first. I've had tremendous success in the online space and now it's my mission to bring the power and leverage of the internet to the common solo entrepreneur. I'd like to invite you to a complimentary discovery call to see if my program biz brilliantly will help you go from unknown to unforgettable and help you get those discovery calls so that you can get to those 10 K months. I know specifically that my people, those are their goals, right? They want 10 K months. That's the average goal of my client and they want to become known, right? They want to have an unforgettable brand. That's why I, put these pieces into my pitch because I know that that's what my people want. Um, so think about that for yourself. Click here to book a call with me. It's my sales page. Um, you can also put your calendar link in there if you want. Um, or you can say, you know, send me a personal message. I like to have the path of least resistance. So usually a call to your calendar um, or a call to action to your sales page where they can read more and then book a call, um, is the preferred method. And I say, I look forward to speaking to you. That's it. You know, um, I've had really great success doing pitches like this. Um, when I first started my business and this is how I built it from the ground up, um, when I didn't have an, an advertising budget, you know, when I was still too afraid to invest more, into my business by investing in ads. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do warn you, this um, takes a lot of time and it will burn you out. It's not a long-term strategy, but you can use this for market research interview questions. Um, you don't have to follow the entire process, but you definitely want a catching title. You want a 
good picture. You do want to hit on the pain points because that's going to get people on the phone with you, whether it's market research, free coaching sessions, or discovery calls. Um, you need to tell people why they want to get on the phone with you. It's their time, right? And they need to be getting something out of it. Um, so, yep, that's about it. Let me see um, if I have any questions um, in the group. I told you this was going to be a quick one. Let me see if I have any questions that I can answer. You know what? Any questions, just post in the comments, and, um, and I will answer them. So I hope this was beneficial for you, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.